shit. And you know what? I took that same hustle that I had to selling drugs. Now I sell everything from Pokey Bars to skincare <laughs> to fucking like, I sell health Like, we don't gotta sell drugs to make money. We can take that same mentality and just flip it to something that's not legal. I don't gotta worry about the cops being behind me when I pop shit out my truck no more. <laughs> When I hand somebody a box of milk crepes, it really is milk crepes. <laughs> <laughs> so now, I'm living a good life. And you know what? God's testing my faith. When I go in, I'm going to talk to the girls in there. Because you know what? I bet you God has and needs me to reach the females that's coming out of this He needs me to speak to them and let them know there's life beyond addiction. He needs me to let them know, like, look, if I can do it, you can. I was the worst of the worst, the lowest of the lowest. I've had good, I've had bad, I've been highs, I've been lows. I had good days, bad days. I was rich and I was poor. But I will tell you this, there is so much life beyond addiction. That shit is so dead. Look at, well, look at the epidemic our island has, mm -hmm. our state has. Everywhere I go, I see people, and they're getting younger and younger and younger, walking on the side of the road, looking for shit on the ground that's not even there, talking to themselves. I'm blessed that that didn't happen to me because you know what? I was one choice away from being that person. I've walked the streets before. I've been homeless. I've slept in, I, I literally would be up for, for days and be driving a slowly car. I know it's, it's hot and I need to park it. So I walk on the road and I, I, I'm like so fucking tired. I stop and I go into somebody's yard and I use their water hose and I start rinsing off and I start falling asleep. I wake up the next day at 12 o'clock sunburn, almost drowning because the whole yard is this flooded. I've been in places that I wouldn't want anybody else to experience. I know what it feels like to be at a low and wake up thinking, when is my life gonna ever get better? At that time, I wanted to die so bad because I knew my life was fucked. I, there were times when I wanted to be sober and I would be like, God, please take this away from me. Take this desire away. I don't want it even more. And you know what? I couldn't, I couldn't quit. There were times when I wanted to quit so bad, but that motherfucker kept me stuck. 15 years, I was stuck. And that's 15 years I can never get back. You know, that I can never, ever get back. If I had the mindset I have today, 15 years ago, I don't know where I would be. But you know what? I believe I'm exactly where I need to be. Because if I didn't go through that, who would be standing here telling you this? Who would be sharing their story? Like today, I go and I speak to you. I go to schools, and you know what? I never in my life thought I'd be doing this shit. Never in life did I ever think I would walk in one room and talk to you like, I, I would be out. Like, I was being out this whole time because I knew I had to talk to you guys, and I was like, oh my God, I'm scared. And he's like, why? And he's like, I'm like, I'm freaking out, you know? Because I'm like, what can I say to inspire one of you, any of you? I know I'm not gonna inspire all of you, but I know I might not inspire a couple of you. And, I, and this is why I want you to want to say this, this. You don't have to live and make the same choices as me. You don't have to go and experience it yourself. You don't have to go and see for yourself because it's not a game, it's not a joke. People are dying, you know, people, like, some people will never, ever come back to their normal self. I'm blessed I still got my teeth. I'm blessed I still got my mind. I'm still okay. You know, and I believe that I needed to survive all of those painful periods of my life because this is where I belong. Sharing my story in order to uplift anybody else. If I can help one kid not do drugs, then I succeeded. You know, and my dream is this, to stand in a stadium and speak all over the world, not just in Hawaii, but all over the world, nationally, in different countries, share my story and, and save these kids. You know why? Because the devil wants it so bad. Because yeah. if he can take them and keep them stuck, then what leaders do we got? There are future leaders, our future presidents, our future governors. If they're all fucked up, we ain't got nobody. So the devil is trying so hard to get these kids to be addicted. I see the generations becoming so much younger, and there's a ton of them.